Hey guys, this is Tanu and welcome back to another episode of Push Pull Leg Series. So today is our pull day and we will do total 5 exercises for our back and biceps. And uh, this dumbbell workout at home is exactly what I would be doing in the gym to uh, build some strength and add some definition to my middle and upper back and arms. So this is an entire upper body workout uh, along with core. So today we have total 5 workouts and we will perform each one for 30 seconds and then we will jump on to the next one for another 30 seconds and then we will take rest for 30 seconds. So this is the whole process and we will uh, complete uh, 3 rounds just by following this process of each one. But here are few points to remember guys that during renegade rows try to keep your hips as steady as possible. And during preacher curls, try not to straighten your arm fully as this is applying a lot of tension at elbow to lift. So I hope that you will enjoy this workout. Now let's smash it. And one more important thing, if you like this workout, then do not forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Hey guys, welcome to the day 2 of push pull leg series. So today is our pull day and our first workout is single arm bent over row. Now start with your feet shoulder width apart and hinge at the hips to lean over the bench on one hand, pushing your bum back and keeping your back straight. Row the weight up, making sure that only your arm, not your torso, moves during this exercise. The one arm dumbbell row is a smart addition to any dumbbell workout. This movement targets the upper and lower back, shoulders, biceps and hips while improving core stability. Five different joint actions take place in this compound exercise. Beginners can use light weights as they build strength. Life in a world that keeps changing. Think that it's progress you're making. Copy and paste pretty faces all the time. Pictures so perfect we play through. Only cause you set up the angle. Web that you weave got us tangled. Caught in what's before our eyes. Show your fantasy reality whoa that's yours but i'll keep doing mine you'll be living your good life catch a glimpse from the outside then you see me now see me now see now don't need any timeline to prove that this is my life avoid these common errors so you get the most out of this exercise and prevent strain or injury number one too much weight don't lift too much weight when you begin this exercise or you may find that you are focusing exclusively on the lats and neglecting the smaller stabilizer muscles number two move the shoulder blade not the arm to initiate the row number three Avoid jerking the weight or twisting the spine and shoulders. If you are doing this, it's likely that you are using too much weight. You must keep the back straight and not curved over throughout the exercise. A rose will not grow without the rain. I want to be someone who says there's more than meets the eye. Show off your fantasy reality. Whoa, that's yours, but I'll keep doing my That you're feeling capture your body get your best side breathe in the world fake us a smile walk in the lines fine but i hope one day you'll break through
next workout is one side renegade rows so drive your right arm through the dumbbell into the floor stiffen your entire body and row the left dumbbell up and to the side of your rib cage your elbow should be pointed up and back keep your body stable as you slowly lower the dumbbell back to the floor then repeat the same thing on the same side for the next 30 seconds i will love to chat right now before i get high when you came to my eyes i feel like i'm on cloud nine you bang harder than for the july i think i can go all night yeah the way you bite your lips blush and smile you give you're just so stunning I know that something special made me think about you about you Renegade row is an excellent exercise to target the entire upper body and core. The plank portion of the exercise requires the engagement of the deep stabilizing muscles of the abdominals, spine, shoulders and hips. While the row portion of the exercise targets the upper back and arms, including the larger muscles of the upper back, the lats and rhomboids, as well as the biceps and shoulders. Here at 3 very common mistakes that you should avoid to get the maximum benefits number 1 allowing your lower back to arc excessively is a common error that can lead to low back injury or pain this mistake is usually indicative of poor core stability so if you find that you can't maintain a neutral spine so you should start mastering exercises that specifically target the core like planks Number 2. Allowing your body to rotate is a common error that can injure your lower back. So again, if you can't avoid rotating, then start with an easier exercise to strengthen your core and back or making the move easier by widening your leg stance, using lighter weights or modifying the move by completing it on your knees. Our next workout is pullover. So you want to get down onto your side, then the top arm is going to grasp the weight, then you are going to take it between the hands and turn flat onto your back. At this point we are going to be sharing the weight. Hands on either side of the dumbbell, bring the dumbbell to sit straight up overhead, straight line over from the hands right over the shoulder. Your feet and your knees are still hip width apart. And this is where again you are going to use your abdominals to keep that nice little neutral spinal position in your lower back. Take your breath in, slowly gently exhaling, tummy tight as you bring the weight straight overhead. Thank you.
This exercise targets many muscles on your upper body. Primarily the dumbbell pullover targets the muscles in your chest, back and shoulders. Secondarily the movement will also have an effect on your delts, upper abs, triceps, lower abs and biceps. Make sure you engage your pecs throughout the full movement and be aware of where you feel the exercise. While holding the weight overhead at the start of the rep is mostly a chest exercise, pulling the weight overhead will require your lats to activate. Today, my beginning will be as bright as the sun. Come, won't you come along? And it feels so bright, it's like luck is raining on me. And follow your heart Doesn't matter how far There is so much love to give Something's telling me this time Baby, baby, now I know Baby, baby, gotta go There is so much love to give Something's telling me it's right When you came to me Oh, I knew It's you, yeah, boy The one who showed me now and for us Then our next workout is single arm supine row or reverse grip bent over row so start with bending at the knees and keeping your back straight squat down and pick up the dumbbells with an underhead grip like palms facing forward get into the starting position by keeping your back straight and bending at the knees let the dumbbells slide down your thighs until they are just below the knee height execute by pulling the dumbbells up under your chest as far as possible pause and then slowly lower the dumbbells back to the starting position Here are some tips for you. Number 1. Keep your back straight, shoulder blades back and eyes facing the front. Number 2. Keep your elbows tucked in by your sides as you pull the weight up. Number 3. Squeeze your shoulder blades together at the top of the movement. As long as you're in my arms, boy, the one who showed me now.
this is a compound exercise used to build strength and size in both the lower and upper back. It targets nearly all of the muscles in the back but particularly the lats, rhomboids and lower back. It is thought to target the biceps and lats a bit more directly than overhand barbell rows. So today's last workout is Dumbbell Preacher Curl. So using dumbbells is a great alternative for doing preacher curls. Using dumbbells allows for a greater range of motion which can allow for greater muscle contraction. Using dumbbells allows you to perform them unilaterally one arm at a time to assist in improving any muscular imbalances. So here are some tips for you. Grab a dumbbell and use a load that you are comfortable curling. Find a surface to rest your elbow and the back part of your arm on so your forearm is hanging in front of you on a decline. Number 3. While keeping your wrist stable and in line with your arm and elbow, slowly curl and raise the dumbbell towards your face. Number 4. Make sure you are keeping the back of your arm planted, only moving from your elbow down. Number 5. Slowly lower the dumbbell back to start position and repeat. give you the benefit of much stronger isolation despite potentially not letting you curl heavier weights than the standard curl. This means that your bicep muscles are targeted effectively. Quality is better than quantity after all and this is true especially when it comes to lifting weights. And lastly, the preacher curl requires that you are seated to do it which makes for a more comfortable resting position for the body. So hopefully you have found this video quite helpful and if it is then don't forget to press on the subscribe button. Also remember to click on the bell button so that you never miss out any of my latest videos. Now relax and cool down yourself. Swimming in the steep, deep blue. You can also share your thoughts and recommendations in the comment section below. breath looking up life moves in ways that keeps changing catch a glimpse
Coming back, love you all. Take care.